was defending your defensive honor, but the coach was saying you you are the greatest defender he's ever had. Oh, hands down. <laughs> <laughs> My defense is great when you say that, but does do you think he grades you on a different curve because he does have such a high opinion of what you could be? Um, I mean, I'm not sure. Uh, I would think so. He he gets on me all the time, to wanting me to be a better defender and be locked in every every play defensively and don't take the play off. And I mean. I've definitely gotten a whole lot better since freshman year. Well, I hope so. I wouldn't be in the game if I didn't. But uh, um, he's stayed on me, and um, that's why I expect, really. What, what does the game film tell you when you watch cutups and stuff? Um, you can definitely tell when I'm tired and when um, those moments where I'm standing straight up and I'm just watching the ball instead of being engaged and helping my teammates and stuff like that. When I'm on my toes and bouncing around and flying around on the court, you know, I'm fully engaged in the, in the game, ready to go. How aware are you as it's happening that you're at those different levels? Say that again? How aware are you as it's happening during the game that you're a little more upright maybe or you're flying around a little bit? Yeah, um, sometimes I need reminders. I mean, everybody has those days where they're a little slower than, than others. Um, but I definitely gotten a whole lot better at being consistent and trying to do it every game because we need it and I'm a leader I need to be shown show by example and show that every play matters and make those plays defensively and uh, we watch plenty of film so you want things to look good on film so you try to do your best every play. It's going to be a film major. Yeah. Theo, where do you think this team is right now compared <clears throat> to maybe expectations that you had for this team with some young players and veterans? Man, um, we're in a way better place than I thought we'd be, I'm going to be honest. Um, as far as basically, we just didn't know anything. Like, it was just so much we didn't know. We didn't know how Sterling was. We didn't know what Garrison would be like in the game, how he would react to being a starter with uh, four former guys. Um, we didn't know how to could play. We didn't know what anybody would do, really. We didn't know if Luke could be Luke where he is right now with a beer roll. And everybody's just taking taking that challenge and playing well right now. Um, personally, I feel like we're playing really well defensively as far as earlier in the year, not trying to get it late. We're starting to understand, like, if we defend at a high level, we can win games. And um, we doing, we're doing a pretty good job of that right now. How do you think you're doing, especially on the offensive end? Um, I think I'm for the past – the past couple games definitely been doing a whole lot better. Um, Started the year, definitely got off to a bad start, just settling for threes. Like that's not what I do. I think I just came out trying to prove I can make threes. Like that's not that's not my game. I'm a playmaker. I can get to the cup whenever I want, and I can um, make plays. I, that's what I do best is make my teammates have an easier job of just making shots. That's all they really need to focus on. Um, I'll do the hard part as far as getting them open, and. Um, that's what I've been doing my whole life, and that's what got me here. So I don't know why I tried to stop that and try to prove that I can shoot threes, make threes, and stuff like that. But um, once I started letting the game come to me and just going out there playing basketball, I've been, that would be fine. Where's their confidence level on their perimeter shot these days? Oh, it's, it's fine. Um, but I, at this point, I'm like, I haven't been stopped by getting to the rim and making plays, so why? just settle for three. That's what they want me to do. They know if I get to the cup or if I get to the paint, I'll make something happen. So um, I'm going to just make make sure I keep doing what I do and uh, make every team pay. Theo, Joe had said the other night that uh, Coach had emphasized playing like Kenny defensively mm -hmm. to the team. Yeah. How did that conversation go? Yeah, Kenny is – his energy level is crazy. I mean – he he's just always in the right place at the right time. If he's not there, he's gonna get there as fast as he can. Um, takes charges at huge times of the game. Um, momentum swinger. Uh, he gets all the 50 50 balls if he's around it, and he just does everything right. Uh, dude is a 
big time competitor on the defensive end. If somebody's going on, he gets pissed about it and tries to uh, make up for it the next time. And he, he's he's a really good defender. Did that conversation take place in the locker room and practice? Um, like I said, like in film, you watch, you see it on film, okay. and when you see stuff like that on film, you're like you understand why he's playing 35 minutes, and that's like that's like one of the things that like a teaching moment for the younger guys is like if you want to play and you want to go out there and contribute, do what Kenny doing. Like, coach loves defense, he loves hustle plays. He's and then at this point we're getting close to conference play. It's about trust. Who can I trust to be in there at these crucial moments and uh, make plays? And uh, I can trust you that if that ball is rolling on the floor, you're going to go get it. So this is that time to do things like that. Um, How is Jalik, you think, progressing? Obviously, had some big plays on Sunday. And mm -hmm. Coach says he needs to be tougher, better on defense. But yeah. um, what do you think? That freshman curve, <laughs> I mean, you just got to get over that freshman hump. I mean, things are just so much faster. In college from high school, um, he, especially the other night, you could tell things were slowing down a little bit as far as finding those gaps to make the good passes and um, finding lanes to score the ball. I mean, the dude can score the ball. He's just, it's taking a little longer for him to uh, find his spots and stuff like that and know where everybody likes the ball and stuff like that. So um, he's getting better and better every day. Roy calls him really gifted you see that practice like the talent oh yeah stuff. yeah I remember um in the game the other day he went off a ball screen he split the ball screen like going through the legs like no one does that yeah. and got into the basket and almost made it in on one it's just stuff like that you just don't see every day and he's he's a real gifted kid anybody else Good. thank you thanks, thanks. Yeah. Yeah.